Hello friends, it's Daryl, and hope you guys are having a great day. I'm doing pretty good, feeling pretty good. And oh, we got a little ladybug beetle visitor here. Here we go today. We are in Thetford Township, Michigan, which is about 15 miles northeast of Flint, Michigan. But the one I came to show you today is probably one of the coolest ones you're ever going to see. And I don't know, I just saw this and I, I got to go film this because this is like really incredible. And here it is. Bedford Township's famous Pac-Man grave mark, I guess we'll call it, or headstone. And it is, it is quite amazing, actually. Let's get a closer look here. It's made out of granite, and it's all been carved and etched. And it's such a realistic, detailed rendition of the classic stand-up arcade game, isn't it? I mean, it's even got the start buttons and the joystick, which is right there, sticking out. Look at that. Isn't that something? And it's like actually textured. Look, the little dots are all textured, carved in. So are the ghosts. Game over. Mr. Luther's nickname was Pac-Man, and it is said that this beautiful grave marker was designed in his memory by his sister. And Mr. Luther served in the military during Vietnam and worked at Buick Motor Company's main plant in Flint, Michigan for 30 years. Buick City, the biggest manufacturing center in Flint, Michigan at one time. And sadly, he only lived about a year after retiring. And his a loving wife passed away just a year after he did. Pretty sad, really sad. But they'd been married, it says, I think since 1977. And look on her marker here, there's a little bench type platform and it's got a little hummingbird engraved on it. And some vines with flowers on it. Very nice, sweet artistic work there. And a picture of them from when they were married in 1977. And they raised several children and had grandchildren too. A shame they passed at such a young age, though. So. Back, there's a traditional mark. Oh, that's his military marker right there, built into the back of the monument. His signature at the top on the back, and a poem called The Bridge Builder. Very impressive. And a loving tribute to the man's life. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.